Hello, everybody. Good morning. Rose here. Today I'm reacting to Foodie Beauty's live stream that she streamed 16 hours ago called That's Rich Coming From You. So I think that she's going to be reacting to Natter in this live stream. You guys know that I've been away for a couple of days due to a couple of things. One, I wasn't feeling well at all. Two, because I've been trying to work out this whole uh, gaming PC situation. Uh, got a new gaming PC, but the old monitors that I have wouldn't work with it. So I had to get a new monitor, all that stuff. But the good news is I do have the new gaming PC with me and a new monitor. Now it's just a matter of setting everything up to where I can do gaming content from it. So yay. So hard work put in for... The result I was looking for. So I wanted to get some reacts done today before I start messing around with the new computer and getting it all set up. So this live stream foodie is still raging. Looks like she's been raging for a couple of days since I've been away and I'm just trying to play catch up. So let me just go ahead and share the screen so y'all can see what I see. There's foodie. So she's got on her foodie beauty hat. And she's got on her foodie beauty attitude and she's going to give it to us and no reacting to the comments. Cause as you guys can see, the comments are turned off. Boo foodie. That's part of our entertainment. I like the comments section, but you're in a mood. So no comments for today. Uh, but this live stream went on for three and a half hours. Obviously we're not going to stick around for all that. We're just going to get the gist and get out of here. So let's get to, let's get to, shall we? So that's not your thing. But this is the friend. No, that was from back then. She said worse shit already. <laughs> this is from when I was going through, Tracy, what she's going through now. So, she, she, Lolo, this friend, made a reaction channel. Whenever she found out I went back to Natter, her way of supporting me was by making a reaction channel called Salty Shannon. Go live with FFG and fucking ream me out. When did I ever do that to her? No. The only thing I did was message her and say, look, I can't deal with you right now. I'm going through my own fucking shit. All right? And, yeah. So, eat shit. All right? Yeah. You all want to fucking forget about that, don't you? Mm, again. Oh. Oh. you Right in you know, maybe I'm getting this wrong, so I apologize if I am, but I think the reason why Shannon was so angry in that video clip was wasn't Foodie kind of talking about her kids? And Shannon is a mother, you know, and talking about kids is it's it should be off limits. But there was obviously a reason why Shannon was so angry. I'm not exactly sure and remember what the reason was, but I think that was it. In that fucking hospital with FFG. Yep. Nice friend you were. And this is why I'm not your friend today. That is vile. She treated me like this and people want me to just fucking forget it. Like it's nothing. Like it's nothing. Now I'm supposed to be fucking Captain save -a for this bitch. Who is just fucking best friend with the most vile fucking whore on the internet. Really? Really? Okay. And then what does this asshole have to say? I find that really funny <laughs> that you're defending Shannon now after you just fucking accused her. She hates you. You're going to suck her ass for what? To look like a fucking idiot? Nobody likes you, Natter. Stop trying to be fucking relevant off my fucking name, too. Because listen, I'm going to react to you right now, bitch. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. Let's go, bitch. Coward. Bitch coward. That's all you are. Let's go. You look bugged out. Holy shit. 
bugged the fuck out. I'm not looking at the chat, by the way. Where is she to get bored and hang in here? What a life person would have to be. Really? But yet you stabbed somebody. Empathy? Where's your empathy for stabbing people? Huh? Didi, this is your... And what's interesting, Chantal, is that when people brought that up to you, that he allegedly, because I have to say allegedly, I don't even know, that he allegedly hurt other people, you were quick to dismiss that and say, oh, that's in his past, blah, blah, blah. See, this is why nobody trusts you. Because your narrative depends on your mood. It doesn't depend on the truth. One minute you're going after Natter, next minute you're defending him and saying he's not that bad of a guy. You guys don't know him. You don't know what goes on off camera. Well, what we do know is what we see on camera and what we see is not good. But remember, you defended this person over and over again and you're still paying for him. Your fucking life, listening to him talk about me the whole time, dummy. I like your shirt with Pennington's. You stand up? You can barely stand up. You're like 120 pounds soaking wet right now. You are a junkie. Of course. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My family, my country, start here from zero. You say that all the time. You don't get, it doesn't matter. What you do now, all what you did to get here doesn't matter because you're a piece of crap now. You're a piece of crap today, 2022. So it doesn't matter how many boats you went on 20 years ago, you're still a piece of shit today. And the same could be said to you, Chantal. That then is then and now is now. And what are you doing now? That is different than what you were doing then. Here's the sad thing about your channel. Anybody can go back to your channel. They can go back to about four or five years ago. How you were acting and how you were four or five years ago. And then compare a video that's four or five years old to one you're doing now. And they would see a marked difference in you in attitude, in the way you talk to people, the way you present yourself, the change is striking. It is so striking. You can literally see how being monetized has changed you and changed your content. You are not the same person that you were when you first got on YouTube. The person that you were four or five years ago, you were nicer to people. You were much more normal. That's why people got into you in the first place, because you seemed relatable and likable. And then once you got monetized and you were paying attention to the views and what got you attention, you let that dictate your content and who you were, or at least who you presented yourself to be on YouTube. You became very money motivated. Let's bring the drama, let's bring the shock. Let's bring the vulgarity and the nudity to YouTube. It's, it's all money motivated to the point where it's hard to tell who you really are versus who you are for views. At this point, those two are combined. They're blurred together. Yes, you're a piece of shit today. And what? So now he's, he's defending Shannon now. Because this is the thing people do without any integrity. No integrity. No integrity, people like this. will flip sides like nothing, you know? Oh, well, one minute, you know. Okay, so I have a question for you, Chantal. You are supposed to be the unbothered queen. So why does it bother you so much what Natter is saying about Shannon 
And why does it bother you so much if FFG is going to see Shannon at the hospital? Like these are things that other people are doing in their lives. Why does it affect you so much? Why are you so bothered by that? What other people do in their lives that have nothing to do with you? This person serves my purpose now. Shannon serves my purpose now because now I can make Chantal look bad. No, you can't. You'll never look. Oh, fuck. I can't. Welcome to Very Important Beasts. Where are you set these? I was not looking at it. Hi, Hidden Agenda. Oh, yeah. Making minimum wage. And, okay. And you still leech money off me every fucking month. Then why couldn't you pay your own rent? Then why couldn't you pay your own rent? Oh, did she just admit it? Did she just admit it that she's still paying for him? I think she did. I Yeah. Should you see? Should you see? No. Oh, God. You can search about it. This is him on for like this is what he would do with me when I would go back after having to eat a load of his shit. I would listen to this for hours. Gaslighting. When I came from Egypt, I did this and I did that, and that's why I treated you like shit. Really? A plus B don't equal C in this case. One of these things is not like the others. One of these things just doesn't belong. Hi. Gail is a piece of shit, and I blocked her too. <laughs> yes, like all the Chantal leeches, every one of them. And you know what I find interesting about you calling the reaction channels leeches, Chantal? You know what's interesting about that? The fact that you're on YouTube and without YouTube, you wouldn't have an income. Your entire income is YouTube. So doesn't that make you a leech? If you're getting on YouTube and you're not even trying to put any effort into making great content, you just literally turn on your camera and start bitching. You have your handout to YouTube, to Google AdSense, to your VIBs, to send you super chats, to send you money through Cash App and PayPal and Venmo. You're over there doing theater content and theater requests for money on the side. Don't tell me you're not. I know you are. You're doing fetish requests for people. That's why you do and say some of the things you do and say on your live streams. You're doing requests for people. You even confessed more than once that some of the food that you're eating, like the paneer that you ate for over a week, was because of a feeder. That was his request for you to eat that paneer. And you've also confessed that people were uh, buying you clothes, buying you lakmas. You're catering to the feeder crowd. So that makes you a leech. You're literally waiting for people to send you money in whatever form they send it in. Every one of well, those. Well, how do people listen to this loser? It was a piece of shit, facts. She is. She's supporting a frigging abuser. Piece of shit. Goodbye, blocked, next. I love people revealing their true colors. I love it. I love it. I love it. Nutter knows people hate him, so he's using Shannon. Bingo. Everyone's using Shannon. FFG? You think out of the goodness of her fucking cold, dead, ugly heart, she went there? No. The first thing she did was snap a photo 
besides Shannon's fucking sick face. Okay, and I would like to take this moment to remind everybody of what Chantal did to her grandmother. When her grandmother was in hospice and dying, this person, Foodie Beauty, she could have gone to the hospice and visited her. She never did when she had the time to do so. She was too busy being up natters behind. And then when she finally did go visit her grandmother, what did she do? She took a picture of her grandmother in her hospital bed, in her hospice bed. And she posted it on social media. She didn't have to do that. She could have kept it for her own personal use. That would have been more respectful. But she took a picture of her grandmother. She took a selfie. So Chantal, you're accusing FFG of using Shannon, making sure to do a selfie with her. Ma'am, pull up a seat and have a seat. You exploited your grandmother. You did. You exploited her death. If I'm not mistaken, you actually read notes from her personal journal or diary as well. But you made a point to take a picture of your grandmother and post it on social media, which is very, very inappropriate. Should have kept that for personal. That really wasn't meant for anybody else. Shouldn't have been shown. You didn't care about your grandmother. You didn't care about her at all. On the day of her death, did you go and comfort your mother, her mother? I mean, I mean, not her, your grandmother was her mother. Did you go and comfort your mother on the day of her death? No. No. Oh, but who's exploiting who here? Please. Who's exploiting who? FFG. You. Like, you exploit everyone's problems. Because you can't face your own. Because you're a piece of shit. So you judge everyone else. So you hurry right down there on the fucking Greyhound and go see Shannon. But your motives are full of shit. And you know it. Everyone knows it. When she goes on, when she starts raising about us, it's all show. It's all show, Aisha. As soon as she's on, we blue eyes stop What are you doing? What are you doing right now, dummy? Answering people's comments. Oh, she got to go live. Yes. 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 You're a bitch. You're a cow bitch. No, you don't. We saw you. Yeah. In person, in person, but behind the scenes, like I've been saying all along, I know Sam's Bar Lounge, Sam's Bar Lounge shows a very fucking different story, you moron. Guess what? Morons. Uh, I did this one at this time. Morons. Anything to latch on. He has nothing. Where's your food? What did Dee Dee cook? Why are you talking about me right now? Because you're fucking obsessed. And you must be obsessed because, okay, so they're talking about you on his channel. You don't have to pay attention. You don't have to react. You hate this man so bad, and yet you will take any and every opportunity to pay attention to him. So don't tell me that the three of you still aren't working together to get attention for both channels because let's be honest, this is all all three of you have. You're on your channel with not much content to offer. He's on his channel with not much content to offer. All three of you are fucking lazy. You won't find quality content to give people. So you bounce shit, the, the same crap off each other every single day. You hate Natter, but yet you won't turn away from Natter. He hates you, yet he won't turn away from you. All three of you idiots are working together, still. What you show the camera is what you show the camera, but I promise you, 
it's much different when the camera's turned off. Obviously it is. If you're still buying his groceries, Chantal, he got those groceries the other day. You obviously bought them because he had no idea what he got. You're still buying his groceries. You're still paying the phone bill. All of you, are, all three of you are fakers. You cannot get over it. You cannot get over me. Dee Dee, this is your life. Your man is sitting talking about me. How do you like that, bitch? You're winning? Really? Okay. <laughs> oh, my God. Everyone is responsible for themselves. Absolutely. Yeah. That that argument could be applied to me back then when I was at my lowest and she was with FFG. No sympathy. None. None for anybody. None for anybody. Including Sarah Jane, because that bitch is still making videos about me. Instead of worrying about her fucking grief, she's making videos about me. Am I supposed to feel sorry for these people? Not at all. Sorry. Fuck you. Let's see it. Let's see it. Let's see it. Any, I can guarantee matter any conversation you have, well, you will look so much worse. All of you, why do you think Sam's Bar Lounge doesn't have anything yet? You all know you're all going to look. Let's go. It's all coming. Let's go. Every time you talk about me, I'm going to react to you and make money right back up. Yeah, as far as the Sam's Bar Lounge, they did say a while ago that they had a video, at least one, that was going to expose Chantal. And still waiting to see that video. Don't know what's on it. But so far, everything from Sam's Bar Lounge has to do with Natter and Dee Dee. Up you asshole. So let's do it. Dislike. He's such a coward. He can't eat. He has to talk like this. And Dee Dee with your comb over. Mm. Yeah, because you looked at my plenty of Christmas. I went to bed one night. I woke up. He's like this. He goes like this. I wake up. This guy has a cigarette and I have dangling out his fucking mouth. I'm like, what are you doing? He's like, on my plenty of fish, replying to these men's messages. Hey, you want to fuck? And he writes, yes, I want to fuck. You have a big talk? <laughs> I swear to God, this guy's insane. No, she made fun of me. <laughs> you remember how you made song of my lips? <laughs> Shut up. See, she hates him, but yet, look at her. She's, she's sitting there blushing. She's laughing. Question to my audience. If you really hated somebody, would you have this kind of reaction? No. <laughs> They're all trash. You know, all this laughing, it just points in the direction of she's trying really hard to be mad at him and she's really not mad. It's all for show. They are. Why do they have these parasites fucking following me around? You ever see a buffalo with all these little birds on their back walking around? Yeah, that's me right now. I'll fucking show you. Buffalo in the wild with annoying birds riding on its back. Buffalo in the wild with annoying birds riding on its back. According to Wikipedia, the American. Uh, yeah. uh, uh. This is you! Okay, we have a half an hour if you want. Yeah. Continue this on Nanny Daddy. Oh, we can continue on Nanny Daddy. Listen to her. She's a I any sympathy for Dee Dee I ever had out the fucking window. This sick bitch takes pleasure in this. 
So you know what? I hope he destroys your condo. I hope he takes you for every fucking penny you have. Every penny, because it's going to happen. It's going to happen. It's happening now, bitch. He looks like Mr. Burns right now. Nice fucking lovely day you had together, I'm sure, yesterday. I have. Fighting. I don't believe in doing that. So... Advice. I'm not going to attack his mother Don't because of that. Little, little fun fact about those little annoying birds on Buffalo. There are many smaller creatures like birds that hang around the bigger creatures because those smaller creatures get rid of ticks and other parasites that attach themselves to the buffalo. Just a little fun fact, Chantal. Other bees. You are not going to win. You're not going to get last fucking word on this platform. I brought you here. I can take you the fuck out, bitch. So why haven't you? That's the question everybody wants to know, Chantal. And I've been asking it. A lot of people have been asking it, but I'm asking it right now. Why haven't you? Why haven't you? This man, according to you, he has committed violence against you of multiple types he's committed s-a-n-d-v according to you that's what she said so much so that traumatized you so why is it that you're so against the reaction channels we haven't committed any kind of physical violence against you nothing in real life why haven't you gone after the Natter El Shami channel? We've seen you go to work when you get mad. You've gone after the smaller reaction channels, thrown strikes and everything else. This man, who's done far worse than any reaction channel, why aren't you working overtime to get that channel removed? Why hasn't there been one strike from you to Nader El Shami. Why not? And why is it that every time you make a community post or a live stream where you go completely ham on him, you get rid of it? It looks like you're protecting him. You got lots to say about the reaction channels, but this person, Natter, has done you far more harm than any reactor. So why? Aren't you going after him? Yeah. No. 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 You sound like a demon. You know that? You sound like a jinn. You look like a jinn. Actually, we have a secret that thing. She said you tried to get. She said. She said you tried to get with men using her account. Mm-hmm. You did. No, he didn't try to get with men, dummy. <laughs> it was just messaging my account. As soon as No, you were trying to use her account. It looks like you just snorted. <laughs> Melissa, you did. Thank you for the super chat, Pennington's lady. Pennington's fucking grandma section lady. Penn Why is she bagging on Pennington? She's gone there for clothes before. Does she realize that by bagging on Pennington, she's bagging on herself because she has shopped there? Pennington's yeah. grandma lady. And she's, <laughs> Lord help me. She said they're bagging on Dee Dee's fashion. Do you see how you're dressed right now, Chantal? I, this is not me being a catty female. This is just me being truthful. What you have on right now is not flattering for your body, Chantal. I'm thankful that it covers everything, but it looks uncomfortable. It looks too tight. That's just my opinion. I need my fucking good hat for this. Shithead! So. 
Can you take me more seriously now? I need something on my head. I can't rage ball. <laughs> That's not rage. Even this. This is this is not a true rage. Anybody's ever been really, really angry, really in a rage? You're not laughing during your rage. This is all rage for views. Just like her being a victim, she's a victim for views. She's not a true victim. You say, is that true? And it's just, uh, Why do you have such a big cleavage space? Um. Anybody want to tell her? She's got one. Holy fuck, you are that. you sucking all those calories or what? Because I'm looking for man. I'm looking for me. Don't leave me. So you are what? I thought we didn't date, loser. My uh, daughter, did you say she was supposed to see you next? I hate lawyers, I hate club chasers. And he had this. Okay, I'm for this real. I need to look for my fucking. No, I get it. You're lying. You're lying. You called me incessantly every single time. Like this, like destroy? Who life do you destroy? Look at Dee Dee right now. Fucking wino of the year with holes in her wall. What do you think? You think that she friggin' drinks for pleasure? No, she does it to endure your goddamn existence, pal. Yeah. Yeah, and this is the same guy that you wanted to move in with, and you probably still want to move in with, and that's the whole motivation between you getting your own place. Pete's getting his own place. That's probably the whole motivation behind it because you still want Natter and you want access to Natter. And you know, as long as you live with Pete, it's never going to freaking happen. But even if Pete and the cats were in the picture, it still wouldn't work, Chantal. You're too headstrong for him. It would never work anyway. Ah. Oh my God. Now that's a look. <laughs> That is a look for you, Chantal. That is such a look. <laughs> Anything to try to make me look bad that's not even true. She doesn't even get the feedback. She's the first she says things like this. Okay. You know what I do? No, I don't care if you're trans. If you're trans, you're trans. But if you're not trans and you look like a man, you're fucking ugly. Shut up. Someone went in his chat with one of his main mods, real name, and profile picture, and that, or ended up insulting her looks for five minutes straight without realizing it. They're fucking two faced every single one of these people. Yeah. Next. But next. Next. Yes, you did. <laughs> oh, so you're admitting to cheating? Okay, but as long as it's not a man. No, I woke up to you screaming at Rat Guy. You were having a bitch fight. Whatever. Listen. Listen. Do do. Okay. You who? Yeah. Yeah. This is all an ego stroke for him. He doesn't even care. Listen. Natter doesn't even care that he's been outed for any kind of abusive behavior, for anything. All he cares about is somebody wanting his cause. That's all he cares about. Dee Dee, this is you listen to this all day. The fuck? I'm so glad that's not me anymore. But you want it to be you. You want it to be you. If for no other reason, Chantal, because you're a sore loser. 
truly you're a sore loser. You don't like to lose. And it kills you that the person that in your mind that you paid for, that you funded for over a year is with another woman. Let's be really truthful here. You and Didi are involved in a tug of war over this piece of shit called Matter El Shami. In my mind, in my opinion, he's not worth fighting over. What exactly does he bring to the table? What does he bring? Doesn't have a job, doesn't have any money, doesn't have his own car. He depends on the two of you to make his way. Without the both of you, he'd be in a world of hurt. He'd be on the streets. That's the truth. He needs her to have a place to live. He needs you for the money. If he had his own place, if he had his own money, he'd ditch both of you in a heartbeat. He's around both of you because of the benefits. It's not about anything emotional. It's about the physical benefits and the both of you give him plenty. But if somebody came along with better benefits, he would cut ties with the both of you because he doesn't like either one of you. He's just telling you both what you want to hear for the sake of just living in a nice place and getting money one more day. But you and Didi, you're both determined to have him. You both put up with each other because you have to. You would like to have Natter all to yourself. She would like to have Natter all herself. But he's holding on to both of you. And he both he told you both, look, you want me? This is how it's going to have to be. And so you tolerate each other because you have to for the sake of holding on to a man not worth holding on to. And for that, you're both stupid and ridiculous. Other men and women. Yeah. And I'm going to see you uh, one second after this. Okay, number one, when I went to Windsor, I showed you all the OnlyFans, all the OnlyFans, all the OnlyFans stuff I did. Okay? You're going to be like dinosaurs who don't exist anymore. And. And even Didi doesn't. Even Didi's yeah. like, mm, mm hmm. <laughs> you see her. And by the way, what happened to you being a boss bitch? You like to say that I'm a boss bitch. Well, a boss bitch would tell the side piece, "Look, I gotta go make my money. So you just sit down and be quiet. I gotta go make my money. I gotta do what I need to do to make my money." You sit down and be quiet over there. If you want to be the sugar baby, that's your role, to sit down and be quiet and let me make my money. Since when do you need his permission to go make your money? A boss bitch does not ask permission to go make money or go anywhere. They just do what they want to do, but you've been on a leash with Natter for the longest. You got to go to Windsor to make some OnlyFans money? Do it. Why do you need his permission? Why get flagged from him? He's just the side piece benefiting financially from you. Why was he giving you flack for doing what you need to do to make your money? Yeah. Nobody likes your shit. You had to be over when I went to live Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. The wins if he's still bringing that up, I guess I'm like, okay, I to be fair, I I drove off. I was supposed to pick him up. He kept messaging me that morning, are you picking me up? He was all ready to go. And I was like, yeah, I'm bragging about this. Hi Lambo, Luxillion. And we all know why she didn't bring Natter on the trip. We all know. Chantal is very insecure. Very insecure. She didn't want Natter around uh, Carly. Carly's a very beautiful young woman. She didn't want to see Natter staring Carly up and down, taking her clothes off with his eyes. She didn't want to see that. That would have caused a big old fight. Smart decision not to bring Natter because Natter would have acted the fool and there would have been problems. I was like, 
Hi. I'm not because oh. you know what? You know what? The tequila night. The tequila night. Yeah. No. No, 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 no. No. That's why. The tequila night. Where you were screaming at me all night and had to punch your own face so you didn't punch me? Yeah. It's some uh, way you get you give your, your twisted way. You know why you give your uh, your computer again. You're just mad that's not you getting that money, right? Because you want to be fucking. You want to fuck for hire, right? Indeed, you're mad. Yes. <laughs> you give the. Like, you know me well. <laughs> no, not in a swim. You can't be my man. But you act like you don't. It won't happen. You're losing it. You know, it blows my mind that we're talking about three adult people. Natter, Didi, and Chantal. We got three adult people. And they all have phones. Why can't they do this fighting in private? Why can't they get on the phone and scream and yell at each other? Why do they got to do it through their monitors and involve people that don't need to be involved? They're involving everybody on YouTube. Nobody wants to be involved in this. Nobody wants to be privy to this. They can do all this yelling and screaming off camera. But they make sure to do it on camera. He's doing his live stream. Chantal's during doing her live stream. They're essentially yelling and screaming back and forth at each other through their monitors. It's ridiculous. Three adults, three adults that should be mature, should be able to handle things in a mature way, fighting through their monitors, involving strangers that don't need to be fucking involved. Stupid <laughs> people. Oh, Didi keeps trying to get her to leave to go to some store, but he's too busy raging. <laughs> okay, let's rewind no, it. I regret something. Is it? I'm the one who make you regret that you lost me since day one. Oh, close your eyes. You try. No. I Sorry, I'm just going. He said something. Don't marry me. <laughs> he prays for Shannon, and earlier he told people how you and her did coke at her daughter's graduation. Stop it, Applebee's. Oh. Well, I wouldn't trust anything Natter had to say as being truth. He lies too. What a loser. You really don't realize how dumb you are. But I swear. Sir. You the swear. I will have a hard time to fix you. To fix me? <laughs> I'm fixed mm -hmm. from leaving your ass. No, you're not. You're still a mess. Buddy. Mm -hmm. And you. How can you say that you've left somebody if you really haven't left? You're sitting here watching him, listening to him, reacting to him. Healing starts when you're completely away from a situation, Chantal. You're not away from it. You're still very, very close to it. You keep yelling and screaming about PTSD and I'm still processing everything. How can you even start healing if you're around that which hurts you and you won't tear yourself away? Can you just hook me up with Hamel? Jesus Christ. Why did I have to? Like, his brothers are so fucking hot. Why did I have to meet this one? That's so gross. Talking about his brothers that way. 
Just because you think his brothers are good looking doesn't mean they want you, Chantal. Oh, I swear again. You swear, and then everyone believes you. I know who you are or where you are. I will struggle for you. No, you won't. No, you won't. I'll be fucking full of people shitting on you in the comments. Oh, because I was rude? No, I'm, I mean, some people, because you were. Well, because people hate me. Because you were crunching guts. <laughs> oh, yeah, sorry. I didn't realize you would pick that up. Neither did I. Some people were proud of that. Yeah, a lot of people just go, oh, she's terrible. <laughs> Why am I terrible she's again? Terrible. She's a terrible friend. Oh, she's using you. She's mm. controlling you. I ha oh, yeah. And just like, <sighs> Lambo, I don't get it. Mr. Fuck Burns. Off people. Like, just sincerely. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Aw, oh, Pete, I was kind of crabby yesterday, so... You were, and I, it happens, whatever, that's not a problem. Well, it is. So, like, the people sitting there telling me to get away from you, that calling you a sow, and fucking... They're better than me, they're better people and than say, me, though. And saying that you're the reason I think I'm worthless, instead of... I got a bad fucking brain. That's why I think I'm worth this. Ass. You know what, Peace? It's such a shame. It is such a shame. There's Chantal over there chasing after every man in the world for their penis. And yet, she won't acknowledge what we all know. Like, if there was ever a man for Chantal, it would be you, Pete. Because we all know that even though the two of you are not intimately involved right now, you still have feelings for Chantal. You still care about her. You are her ride and die. You have been for years. But because you were an easy conqueror, she no longer values you. She conquered you and she's now moving on to guys that don't want anything to do with her except for her money. It's a shame that she's got someone like you that cares that much and she doesn't care. And she's got her cats that care about her and she doesn't care. All the love that she's looking for, she has in her own house, but she doesn't acknowledge it. She wants what she can't have. And she's forever chasing what she can't have, what is not meant for her. And as far as you, Pete, and your life with Chantal, I've been watching for a long time. Anybody that gets close to Chantal suffers. Their quality of life goes down. She pulls you down into a black abyss and this it's hard to get out of. When you and Chantal first moved in together, you had a job, you had money, you were feeling better. And then over time, being around Chantal has been detrimental to you physically and mentally. And now you're in a place where you can't do much for yourself. And I, a lot of that I'm sure has to do with Chantal, her influence over you. She likes the fact that she can control you and that you are her right and die, and you've got that loyalty, but that's going to come back and bite you in the ass, dude. Because she's completely got you snowed over. You, you, put, you put so much trust in Chantal that you, you're honestly thinking that she would never betray you. Trust me, she would. If Natter called right now and said, I want to be with you, let's set up a place right now, she would leave you high and dry again. She did it once, she'll do it again because she's very selfish and it's all about her. She doesn't care about you, she doesn't care about the cats, she cares about herself. And all the people that are coming forward and saying, get away from Chantal, dude, she's going to end up leaving you. 
they're the ones telling you the truth. Chantal is that person that she's such a coward and she's so awful that she wouldn't even come to you and say, listen, I'm moving out on my own in about a month or two. You need to find a job. You need to get on your feet as quickly as possible. She's not even that caring. She's that kind that would leave you high and dry with nothing and you would never hear from her again. Well, nothing to do with you. You're the one. You keep trying to tell me that I'm better than I think I am. Aww. Of course. Every time he puts himself down, I say don't do that, right? Because it's true. Fuck that. You are a good person. And so what are you doing to help him be more independent to where he doesn't need you, Chantal? You could be a friend. You've got the time to help him be more independent, to go be around other people, to get a job, get his own money. How are you helping with that? You're not his mother. You're not his caretaker. But you kind of put him in that position where he depends on you. What are you doing to break that cycle? I understand you want your own life and you want to go Euro bees and shit like that. But at the same time, you know, you have a friend living in your house. You have your ex fiance that you left in wreck and ruin. What are you doing to make good on that to where you can walk away and he's going to be OK? You can take steps to help him. You're not. Every single person in my life, my mother gets on my fucking nerves. People get on my nerves. It happens. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, fuck. Everybody gets on your nerves. It does not agree with your toxic narrative. Look. Can you turn my light on, please? For your... $7,000. The max I have made, $7,000 a month. And you know that that's mostly because of me talking bad about you, right? So if you know that, why don't you stop talking bad about him? Or why don't you throw some strikes at his channel, Chantal? You want to hurt him. Why aren't you hurting him? Why are you so focused on the reaction channels that have never caused you any kind of physical or sexual harm? Huh? Answer that. People watch you because of drama, mostly. Maybe she have to live with that. But in the end of the day, in the end of the day, I own two apartments. <laughs> no! Just when you think he's going to say something intelligent, just when you think he's going to redeem himself, at the end of the day, let me tell you what the end of the day is. Nobody cares how many apartments you own. Nobody cares how much money you have. Nobody cares what you can afford and what you can't afford. All people care about in life and remember is how you treat them. Right. Maybe you should take your own words and remember that. It doesn't matter how many subscribers you have on YouTube, Chantal. It doesn't matter how much money you make on YouTube. It's how you treat people. And you, ma'am, you treat people like garbage on YouTube and also in your real life. That's why you don't have many people to talk to. That's why you have very few friends, true friends. You don't have any true friends. All you have are men around you that depend on you financially. They need you. They don't want you. You perpetuate, you perpetuate that system of need. That way the people that you want around you can't escape from you. And whenever I think of you, Natter, what honestly, honestly, what do you think I think of? Hmm? Obsession. You're obsessed. Back home? That's that's a word that describes Chantal's whole life. If there was one word that could describe Chantal's whole life, it's obsession. Whatever she likes, whatever she gets into, she gets obsessed with. She takes it too far. 
it's not about balance. It's not about moderation. It's about obsession. Everything becomes an obsession. And I was saving my money to open 100,000 to open my own restaurant. And, and you stabbed people and went to jail. Okay. Your actions. Not making $20,000. And before the month is done, I go to a pawn shop or I go to what are you doing, do do Making patches in your condo wall? The only thing you have is your condo, your muted milk toast Monty condo. Oh. And you don't even have that, Chantal. You're renting a villa. And it's not even in your name. Dee Dee has a condo. What have you got? You can't even say, I have a Motel 6 room in my name that I'm renting. You're renting under somebody else's name because of a bankruptcy. Because you can get a decent apartment under your own name. Uh, you, know, you, know. On day. <clears throat> you don't even want to be there, Natter. You don't even oh, want to be there. The only reason you're there, you know it. You don't and even want to the be there. The world to see it. You need to talk about me again. I'm reading yeah. it. And I'm really? You got a discount for being an extra. Matter loves pineapple bubbly the most. No, 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 like no, no, it's not soft. It's not soft. I'm going to her. And then she, you know. Oh, she's reacting to Monty now? See, the shelling is in pain, so why not? It's only two hours away. No. Bradley That's BS. Anymore, because, you know, she That's BS. Right. You know it's BS. Oh, you. I chat. Oh, you do not even cooking one onion. You tell me the man beside me, right? Yeah. Look at you. 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 Yeah, better looking than that person is better looking know. than Dee Dee. So again, again, no, again, no, you look like that is no, no, walking no, up to him for approval. Like, goodness, so much going on. Monten? Okay. Monty's current YouTube channel, Stories from the Internet, was created in June 2020, but the oldest extent videos as of writing as was this short clip from December 2020. David Baum, this video begins with Monty saying, welcome back to... Oh. Let's see if we can go further. And then you. <laughs> Please do Dee Dee when she says mad. No. <laughs> Give me all the men. What's the weirdest fetish of someone you guys met? This is TMI, so if you don't throw up on his, you know what? What? Like make me throw up a bit? Ew. Big neck Ed. No, he's big neck Ed. Yeah. He's all neck. Like me chins. If I had a guy tell me the other day he wanted to eat ice cream off my belly. You had a guy tell you that? That's hot. I want a guy to eat whip lip lick whipped cream off my fupa. Oh, that's gross. Sorry. It, it's gross because you think about the fact she doesn't wash herself. Ew. I want a man to. I want my fupa to look like the cherry hat. Well, it ain't gonna look like that. Sorry. Yes. My fupa brown. <laughs> when you stop paying attention and then come back to this convo, yeah, I bet. 
I'm totally losing my soul. What? Okay, you know what? I know there's a lot more to this, but it sounds like a lot of the same crap we normally hear. So I'll just go ahead and end it here. I was just trying to catch up with all the Fody Beauty stuff because I'm far behind. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this React video. If you have, please like and subscribe and leave a comment. Thank you very much for watching and please have a pleasant day. Take care. Bye-bye.